Hey guys, P. Lunch Cow Constrictors. Uh, quick update, Pinky still has not gone. It is, yeah, it's been a couple days past her due time that I had marked down. Her 30 day mark, so I, I really don't think she's gonna go. I'm beginning to think that. Um, if she doesn't, she doesn't. I think my towel back up real quick. Um, also, <clears throat> quick update for the puppies, uh, the girls, Saturday, 9.30 our time. I'm pretty sure it's 9.30 our time. My phone's downstairs. Uh, we will be going, we will be picking them up at that point. Um, so we'll have to leave here, you know, like 7 o'clock our time, whatnot. Oh, excuse me. Still draining, still got the sinus thing. Damn allergies, or whatever the hell I'm allergic to. Irritating. <laughs> I apologize. It's kind of gross. But, uh, yeah, just uh, today I'm uh, really excited about the puppies. And today I'm just going through changing the waters and checking on all, our, all of our breeder girls and stuff. Um, like my biggest girl here. Here. Uh, she's not my longest. She is my heaviest, though. Look at her. She's freaking them. Amazing. Uh, she's not... Last couple seasons, she's uh, not done too well as far as eggs. Uh, she is being paired with a new male this year, Apollo. Um, so, our coral glow pied male. I don't know if it was a male thing or if it's if it's her, but we're gonna try him this year and see if we can get some good a good clutch out of her. I'm hoping we do because it's gonna be a heck of a clutch. Um, <clears throat> She consistently pushes out quite a few slugs. Um, and I, I say that, with, I'm hoping that maybe this year she can push out some eggs. Um, <clears throat> we've gotten two good eggs from her. Alright, so um, she will. She slugged out 10 last year. No, she slugged out 13 last year. She slugged out uh, 13. No, she slugged out 13 the year before. Got two good eggs. So that was 15. Boys are outside barking. Somebody is walking by. Um, so she slugged out uh, 10. I think 11 last year. Slugged out uh, 13 the year before. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's the male or if it's she doesn't like the male or if she doesn't like. Uh, I don't know. So right now, Thor is being paired to um, Broomhilder only. Um, we got two good eggs out of her. No, I think we only got one good egg out of her. And the rest were slugs. I think five slugs. First time mom, though. So, I don't know. If it is Thor, you know, we'll pull him out of the rotations and then we'll, you know, he'll be our, he'll be our pet. But, um, other than that, yeah, uh, we're going to try out with her again this year. So, we'll, we're trying. I'm trying to get some pie. It's hard. I'm trying real hard. Who are you, Pandora? Yep, yeah, this is our leopard girl. You're digging this new tub, aren't you? She's a little smaller. She is actually, I think, going into shed, it looks like, maybe. Uh, leopard hat clown female. She's a little smaller than the bigger girls I just showed you, as you can see. Uh, all the girls here are much bigger than she is, but she's to the point to where she needed a bigger tub. So I went ahead and put her in the 70, and of course you guys saw me do that in a previous video. I made it a hide tub, which I've shown other videos like that before. But you guys seem to enjoy those type of videos, so I did that. Um, showed that off again. But she is absolutely thriving in this tub. She has no issues whatsoever here. Um, <clears throat> She's absolutely loving the hide part of the tub. Um, so yeah, that gives her a little bit of a scary water real quick. Okay. Alright, now I'm done with all the breeder girls. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if it's Hermes Hera. Serenity, Pinky, I'm not pulling her out. I wish you would go. You know, you're dirty. You look like you're getting ready to shed again if you do that. 
then yeah, I'm gonna probably say she won't go if she sheds one more. It gets ready to shed again. Uh, meantime though, I will keep an eye on her and I'll keep you guys posted if she does lay. I'll do a video, it'll be an extra video, I guess, to show off everything. So, um, since those guys are done, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to uh, these guys here real fast. <clears throat> My girl missed a girl. Maybe she'll let me pull her out. Here's our mystic girl, Cersei. Doing well. Yes, getting big actually. She's doing really good. I'm gonna throw her back in here. Well, I'm not gonna throw her. I'm just going to set her back in here. Here's our girl Nyx. Hi, sweetie. Uh, sneak in here, and grab you. So I'll go next, black pastel. I'll turn you guys a bit so you guys can see that rack over there. There, black pastel female, uh, doing real good. Getting big. She's about, about the same size as what Cersei is. So they're they're right in line together. So yeah. Set her back in. Just checking waters right now and grabbing grabbing kids and holding them for couple seconds. Gotta keep them used to being held. Um, Nemesis? Hey baby. Here. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean to hit your head. Uh, Fire Anchi Spider Super uh, Yellow Belly Spectre. Pet Club. Few months she'll be ready for a new tub as well. So we got our girl Arrakis. Where are you at, honey? You are in heavy shed. Oh yeah. You know what? I'm not even gonna mess with you today. She's in shed, she's got her eye caps. I try not to mess with them too much when they're that way. I'll wait till she goes back uh opaque for I can see her eyes again. It's usually just before they shed they'll they'll go back. her back up. Here is our other leopard head clown girl, Clippy. Put leopard head clown, get her some more water because it's full of coconut. <clears throat> Oops. There she is looking great. As you see, everybody's doing exceptionally well. Everybody's thriving. Everybody's eating. I had almost, <clears throat> see me, I had almost a hundred percent feed uh, on Saturday. This last feed day, it's almost one hundred percent. One. Pinky didn't eat, of course. That doesn't fall under the feed right now. Um, I think I had two. Out of all the snakes in the room that didn't eat, two grow two uh, animals that didn't eat. Um, so yeah, I was like, what, ninety eight percent? That's that's I know it's probably not ninety eight percent, but that's what I'm saying. Ninety eight percent of all the snakes in the room ate. It's my story. I'm sticking to it. But no, it's uh, they did. Eat, they did, it was a really good feed day. <clears throat> You young man. Uh, I only took one rat downstairs, back downstairs with me. Uh, I had a mouse, uh, our little, my problem child that doesn't eat on his own yet. Who may never eat on his own. He would not eat no matter what I did for him. He killed the mouse, but didn't eat it. So, I don't know what to do with him now. Not gonna give up on him. I'm gonna keep trying. Um, he's a year and a half now, and he's still like 100 grams. 
Yeah, I cannot get him to eat. He will not eat consistently. I'll have to help him shove the mouse down his throat, and he'll eat at that point. But other than that, he will not eat. This guy, not this guy. This I'm not talking about him. This guy eats fine. I'll show you my problem child here in a second. As you've seen him in other videos, but yeah, he's the only one. One and, and of course, Pinky didn't eat. And I think, I think um, Eris didn't eat. But I didn't have Pinky figured into my feed this time around because I was kind of hoping she would have dropped this time. I mean, the last time, the previous time, um, she killed the rat but didn't eat it. She just left it there. So I didn't attempt this time around. <clears throat> so yeah. Problem child, I'll show you him real quick. Where you at, dude? <clears throat> You're going in the shed. Year and a half. And he still won't eat. He does, however, have possess the uh, wobble from the from the spider. Even though he's not a spider. Um, yeah, he just will not eat on his own. He, he's, he's really skinny. Um, I got him to eat uh, time before last. He did eat, but this time he did not. Could be, maybe because he was going into the shed. He just didn't want to eat, but yeah. Still trying with him, though. I'm not going to give up on this little guy. He's a year and a half old, and I'm going to try and get him to start thriving. Um, yeah. Working hard. There he is. Go back in there. You're good. You're good. So, uh, who did I just have out before me? Boulder? Alright. I'm slowly carefully opening tubs because I don't want to get bit. A lot of these guys, heavy feed response. And I like that. Um, feed day? It's, it's an adventure. That's for sure. Definitely fun. Uh, <laughs> it's like running an obstacle course. But if you step wrong, you're going to get get bit or get hurt. But Soul Sucker Mail. Hidden Gene Woman Lesser. And again, I've said it before, there's no granite in this. If there was, he would still look the exact same as he does now. So... Doing good. Uh, getting big. Next season he'll be ready to go. Where are we on time? 13. We're going to show off one more real quick. And then we're going to move on. And uh, I'm going to jump off here and get on Patreon and talk to my guys over there for a few minutes. And um, yeah. Here's Merlin. He is a crystal. It's a Mojave special. Um, who thinks he might try and get me? There. He's watching. I do have him far enough away. He's, I am out of striking distance, but I don't think he's going to try. And just when you don't think they'll try, they do. But here he is in all of his beautiful glory. Um, doing very exceptional. Aren't you? Big boy. But uh yeah, he's getting big. He's actually a little bit bigger than Kyle right now, I think. They both eat the same. I mean they're both about the same age. But my battery light's flashing, so as always guys, check out TikTok, Instagram, all that good stuff. Subscribe please, share the video, hit the little bell. Um stay tuned for the puppy vids and pictures on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see all you guys in the next video, okay? I'm gonna go over Patreon and I'll talk to you guys. Bye.